Instagram Reels is now available in the Middle East region as of the 15th of March, only a few days ago. What is Instagram Reels? It's Instagram's take on the fast moving uh, vertical video format that is popularized by TikTok. If you think the videos that you're watching now are short and fast paced, you have not seen anything yet. So what do you need to do to get Reels? Absolutely nothing. Um, in your Instagram feed, you'll sh you will see them show up. So uh, in videos in your feed, you see that there's going to be a small Reels indicator. It's a sign as a, uh, that's Reels. Uh, also, the Discovery tab, you'll be able to find it. And if you want to create your own Reels, um, the same way you create a story, when, when you're creating your camera, you have the story aspect and, uh, and live, you'll have next to it the Reels format. Plus, this month, uh, Instagram Music has also launched in the region. Um, music is a big part of my day-to-day. -day. Uh, I use it as I work, uh, as I, you know, the, the deep work that, that I need to do or when I'm walking back and forth. It's, it's something that gives me focus. And um, I was excited about this change to, uh, to Instagram Music because what it does is it adds a much uh, deeper layer uh, on how you want to share and express yourself uh, via Instagram. So uh, how do you add that to your Instagram stories? What you do is you create a story, the same way you usually do, then you swipe up, then you have the music button. So there is a music button that you select, you search the library, and then there are two formats, uh, one with lyrics and the other one with the artwork, and you can choose either or. I like to take a look behind the scenes of what it takes, whether it's business or, or creation of content or artwork. So I look at it from a perspective of what does it take to, to, to do it and why. What I found interesting about this approach is that the live concerts are, are different during COVID. You know, I like to look at behind the, behind the scenes. So when you look at this from a business perspective, there's a huge amount of coordination when it comes to lighting, visuals, content, and there's a lot of pressure on uh, uh, the producers of the live concert in order to make sure that this isn't just a, like a Zoom call type of concert. So they need to add um, a certain layer to it. And this is what they've done with, the, uh, with this concert because there's not a live audience, so you have to add uh, a certain aspect of it. So I like the, there's an extensive amount of drone footage, uh, behind the scenes shots. Um, you have lovely footage uh, uh, of the of the of the of Dubai as a whole as a city, and there's a lot of coordination to help uh, pull the whole thing off. Um, the link is below in the uh, in the bio for you to to enjoy it, and enjoy it loud. You and I have both sent messages in WhatsApp, whether they're groups or to people, and then we'd rush to delete it, that message, and say, wrong group. Um, you know what I'm talking about. You've, we've all done this before. It was even worse when, uh, when we were unable to delete uh, messages before. Now at least we can. So WhatsApp took a stab at addressing this. So it's a simple change. So what they did was now you can change the wallpaper uh, of the chat message. So if you have a certain person that you uh, are working, you are trying to deal with, whether it's work or a personal relationship, and you want to make sure that you don't mess things up there, if you choose a, a virtual, you know, a, a colored background, a virtual background for that, uh, what happens is your mind will be able to separate what that means. Um, so it's a it's a social faux pas that we're, that we're trying to avoid. 
Another thing that WhatsApp change that happened is if you're the type that uh, disables read receipts, so meaning that if somebody if somebody messages you and you read it, you don't want to tell them, uh, you don't want to show them that you read it. Um, there was an aspect where the voice uh, the voice notes were exempted from this. So if you, if somebody sent you a voice note and you and you heard it, it will show it to them. Now uh, uh, WhatsApp has widened the disabling read receipts so that when you listen to a voice note, it won't tell others. When I look at this, it's a uh, we uh, we we create a wicked social web that we tangle ourselves in about who do we send messages to? Is it a wrong message? I don't want them to see that I read this. Did they read my message and so on? So I think it's all our all uh, our own messaging is our own messaging reflects our social behavior. Next, influencers in business. Mm -hmm.